That is the minor 2-5-1 progression. It's called the minor 2-5-1 progression because it resolves to a minor chord, and it has the same motion as a regular 2-5-1 progression. Our 2-5-1s that we've been looking at have been C to F7, C minor 7 to F7, to B flat major 7. Now if you look at that root motion, it's the same thing, but moved down to here on the 5th fret. Okay? So there's different ways to think of it. If you think of the minor as the one, A half diminished is the two, D7 is the five, and G minor is the one. You could also look at this as it relates to B flat major. A is the seven, the D is the third, the G is the six. But since it follows this pattern, of the 2-5-1, it's easier to just call it a 2-5-1. So the first chord is the A half diminished. We looked at this in the section on chord scales, and it looks like this. The next chord is a D7, similar to how we played it in the 2-5-1s in B flat and in the blues. And then the next chord is G minor 7. Okay, so when I play those together, it sounds like this. Now I can expand these. Uh, just like we looked at expanding chords previously, we can take this fifth. All right, this is a flat fifth of A half diminished. Remember that chord is also called minor seven flat five. This is the flat five. If I move it up an octave, I get this chord. Now, that sounds nice. It's a little bit uh, more colorful. From there, I can go to D7. I also have the option of expanding the D7. I can put in this note. That's called a sharp nine. Some of you may have seen this chord before. It's sometimes thought of as the Jimi Hendrix chord because it was made famous in the song Purple Haze. Uh, it's also used in a lot of funk grooves. There's a, a lot of theory behind the name sharp nine, which we're not gonna get into now because we have enough to deal with, but uh, it is, important to learn that at some point. But for now, just listen to the sound of it and listen to how it relates to the other chords. Okay? Let's hear how this sounds with the band. One, two, one, two, three, four. Don't forget, all these tracks can be downloaded from the website. Download them, practice with them, and don't forget to get this level down before you move on to the next level.